Hey, you like the wig? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Seat of Pot Real Reviews. I'm your host, Paul Forty, and it's been quite a while since we've seen anything around here. And uh, boy, did we go out and see some good movies this week. Today's show, we're going to review the movie Iron Man 2. It was uh, directed by Jon Favreau. Everybody knows who he is, and he needs no introduction whatsoever. And uh, written by Stan Lee, amongst many other people. And I'm going to let Maddie tell you who's in it, because there's way too many actors and actresses to tell you. So without further ado, Maddie W. Kelly, it's been a while. Tell me what you thought about Iron Man 2. Thank you very much, Paul Frederick Forty, also known as the younger, hippier version of Colonel Sanders. We're going to be reviewing Iron Man 2. Let me tell you off the bat, it was nowhere near as good as Iron Man. In 2008, I reviewed Iron Man, and let me tell you, it was my number three movie of the year. It was a great film by Jon Favreau. John Favreau's back to film Iron Man 2. It didn't live up to uh, its expectations. Tony Stark is back, played by Robert Downey Jr. And this guy has personality. And also, Pepper Potts is played by Gwyneth Paltrow again. And this lady is not good at all. She has no personality. I would, uh, I would actually rather throw wet paper towel at the screen and watch that thing fall off. That has more personality. Also in the movie, Mickey Rourke. He plays Whiplash. Now this guy has some character, but he doesn't have enough action sequences, enough, enough scenes in the film, and his accent as a Russian is absolutely terrible. Other than that, the movie is actually pretty good. The special effects in it are great. When Iron Man flies around, when Don Cheadle is black Iron Man flies around, it's great. Other than that, I'm gonna have to say the movie's okay, nothing great. I'm gonna go with my brother, Call him probably like this a little bit more than me. Uh, it's good to be back, Paul Forty. Back to you, brother. Thank you very much, Maddie. And as always, I don't know whether or not you really liked it, kind of liked it, thought it was awesome, or whatever. Yeah, a little bit of this. We don't know. Anyway, we're going to go off to our soon Papa to be, Colin the X-Man Kelly. Try to get a little bit more of a clear review from Colin. Colin, did you like it? Did you not like it? What'd you think? Iron Man 2. I got to say, this movie was fantastic. It was right up there with the first one. I'm not sure if it was as good, but it's just as close. John Favreau, you're a genius. Great stuff again. And as much as I love Terrence Howard as an actor, I've been turned off with him a little bit lately. John Favreau did a great job going out and get Don Cheadle to replace Terrence Howard in this movie. I think he did a great job. And I'll tell you why, because he plays the Robin character, like Batman and Robin, better than anybody. The scenes are insane. Scarlett Johansson is incredible. She's beautiful, does a great job. Leads up to another sequel. I think that's gonna, so stick around after the credits. Don't leave too early. Um, this movie is insane. Downey Jr. is always doing his thing. He's, uh, like my brother said, filled with uh, charisma, that's it. All right, so check it out. Iron Man 2 in theaters right now. It's incredible. Back to you. Paul Frederick. All right, Colin, thank you very much. That was a great review. As always, you pull through with uh, being the one Kelly that can really tell me what you thought about the movie. Anyway, until next time for a Cedar Pot Real Reviews, I'm Paul Forty. Check us out on the web. We love you! <laughs> it's good to be back.